Sanele, I'd like you to speak to us a little bit more about student loans. Many students get through their schooling careers and reach university and will have to fund their own studies through student loans. Now, many parents feel a lot of guilt about their children having to take on a student loan. Why don't you speak to us about what student loans are, how they work, and, and whether um, parents really should feel guilt about their children taking this on? Um, student loans are actually, people normally view them as a bad thing. It depends of, on where you are as a parent. So if you have not saved enough money for your child to go to tertiary, or your child has not had a bursary to study further, the best way is to go through student loans. So what happens in the student loan environment is that you as a borrower get the money so that you can pay for your child's tuition fees, accommodation, and all other related costs. And as your child is studying, then the parent can start paying the interest back so that when the child finishes school, they're not left with a huge amount of money to pay back. Then when the child has finished tertiary um, education, then they can start paying back whatever was not paid back by the parent. So student loan are actually not a bad thing. But on the flip side, it's also not nice for your child to start having debt when they start working. So there, there really is a lot to weigh up when it comes to a student loan. So if you've, if you've made the decision as a child and a parent that you are going to go ahead and get the student loan, where do you begin? Which student loan do you choose that best suits you and your career path? Um, the best way is to go to the banks because the banks um, offer student loans and it's important for you to look at what interest rates you would need to pay it back. So you need to compare the interest rates that each bank offers and then you decide what's best for you, uh, for your studies, together with your parents. Zanella, before we let you go, um, just one quick question, and that's what do you say to the parent who is sitting in your office across the desk from you and says, Zanella, this is just too daunting. Um, giving my child an education seems like this massive task ahead of me. Where do you tell that parent to begin? What I would tell that parent is, it looks very daunting. But remember with savings, you don't have to put um, away a whole lot of money every month. It's always best to start with what you have. So like I said, the education plans that start at 150 Rand. And as your income increases, you can always increase what you're contributing towards your investment. And once again, there's a misconception that it's only it's late to start saving. If your child is at primary school, you can still save for high school and tertiary. So it's never too late to start saving. What it just means is that you just have to put in more money if you start saving very late. 